This week, China and the U.S. reached a historic agreement to cut carbon emissions. The leader of ISIS may have been killed in an airstrike, and a spacecraft landed on a comet 300 million miles away. But that ass, though. <laughs> According to officials at the CDC, the first case of Ebola in the U.S. has been diagnosed in Texas. And according to WebMD, you already have it. <laughs> Hillary Clinton recently fueled speculation that she may run for president when she made an appearance in Iowa and said, hello, Iowa, I'm back. Though, if I remember 2008 correctly, that's not as effective as saying, hello, Iowa, I'm black. <laughs> Officials have begun screening for Ebola at New York's JFK Airport for all travelers arriving from West Africa. They're focusing on JFK because not even Ebola would go to LaGuardia. According to a new phone poll, 45% of Americans are concerned that they'll get Ebola. The other 55% wouldn't answer the phone because they thought that might be the way you get Ebola. <laughs> And President Obama urged Americans to spread the word and check their insurance options on healthcare.gov. Except they can't because someone broke the internet. <laughs> okay, I, I promise that was the last one. <laughs> what that ass though. So while I may never forgive Bill Cosby, hopefully someday I can forgive Dr. Huxtable. I mean, I know it's not the same thing, but I forgave Kramer. <laughs> In a speech this week, in a speech this week, Hillary Clinton stressed the need for compromise in Washington, saying she hopes to lead the country into, quote, a warm purple space, which is the same line Grimace uses to get you into his windowless van. In other news, a major power outage struck Detroit this week, leaving roughly 100 buildings without power. The problem will be fixed once someone in Detroit notices the difference. <laughs> Prince William and Kate Middleton visited New York City this week. While they were here, they saw the Brooklyn Nets play against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron finished with 18 points, four rebounds, and one steal. <laughs> The NFL is investigating claims that the New England Patriots deflated game balls before the a AFC Championship win. Man, that Bill Belichick is always has a trick up his nose sleeves. <laughs> the Patriots, of course, deny the cheating accusations, saying the only deflated balls they have are because of steroids. <laughs> it was announced that Pope Francis will visit New York City in September and hold a mass in Madison Square Garden because the Pope always tries to go where people are suffering the most. <laughs> a Delta airplane skidded off a snowy runway while landing at New York's LaGuardia Airport, slamming through a fence and almost falling into the bay. But the good news is the pilot didn't even spill his drink. <laughs> The head of the House committee investigating the Benghazi attack said Friday that Hillary Clinton wiped her personal email server clean, permanently deleting all her emails. So at least one Clinton has learned how to wipe something clean. <laughs> Despite Hillary Clinton's claims that she used her personal email while Secretary of State to avoid carrying more than one device, a new report shows that she emailed with her iPad in addition to her BlackBerry. Even more alarming, her email signature was sent from my Benghazi cover-up device. <laughs> Former Ravens linebacker Ray Lewis spoke out against the violence in Baltimore, saying violence is not the answer. Unless, of course, the question is, what made Ray Lewis super rich? <laughs> A new poll shows that Hillary Clinton's poll numbers have dropped two points since she made her presidential campaign official. Because for some reason, once a woman makes it official, we suddenly start to lose interest. <laughs> Jeb Bush said in an interview this week that like his brother, he would have authorized the invasion of Iraq. Though he wouldn't have done it for the same reason George did, to capture the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> This Wednesday was a day without a woman. Sponsored by Jergens Lotion. Jergens, you know what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> the
This week, our military dropped the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan. The bomb cost $16 million and reportedly took out 94 members of ISIS, which doesn't sound that efficient. But remember, Fox News spent $13 million just to get rid of five women. <laughs> The White House celebrated Cinco de Mayo on Friday by giving away hundreds of free trips to Mexico. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos was booed while giving a commencement speech at the historically all-black Bethune-Cookman University. It was the most booing from an all-black audience since I let Colin open for me at the Apollo. <laughs> A Kickstarter project has been launched to create a line of rompers for men called Romp Him. As in, the victim of the beating was wearing a Romp Him. This Wednesday was National Walkout Day. Oh, uh, sorry, that's the wrong picture. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Vanessa Trump. <laughs> oh. You know what we do here, right? <laughs> Vanessa Trump filed for divorce from her husband, Donald Trump Jr. It's a tough break, but I'm sure he'll take it on the no chin. <laughs> the students at Stoneman Douglas High School face new security precautions, including a rule requiring everyone to wear clear book bags. Is that supposed to keep guns out? Nobody comes to school with a gun and their books. When a mailman goes postal, he doesn't also finish his route. <laughs> A teacher in Oklahoma who was participating in the statewide teacher walkout was arrested for having sex with a student. Worse, she had to pay for her own supplies. <laughs> for You're shame. Wrong. You're wrong about that. That's <laughs> a Colombian veterinarian has been charged with allegedly smuggling heroin inside of puppies. This according to the very dark sequel to The Secret Life of Pets. <laughs> Police arrested a legless woman in Florida who was wanted for skipping a court date. It's a rare case of a legless person skipping. I'm not above that joke at all. Earlier today, Suits actress Meghan Markle married some unemployed dude who still lives with his grandma. Pope Francis this week criticized the magazine Charlie Hebdo by saying, you can't make a toy out of religions. And then he put on his giant hat, grabbed his wand, and went back to his golden castle. <laughs> Apple has introduced a new line of emojis to represent people with disabilities, such as a person in a wheelchair, or someone who is deaf, or the governor of Virginia. <laughs> New York City lawmakers have also proposed a new law that would change the sound of emergency vehicle sirens to resemble those used in Europe. That way, when you can spend your ride in the ambulance pretending you have universal health care. R. Kelly has faced a string of financial problems, including unpaid child support. Although for R. Kelly, unpaid child support is also alimony. <laughs> <laughs> but do you get it? This Wednesday was Ash Wednesday, the day where white people show their support for 21 Savage. <laughs> Singer Lance Morris had announced on Instagram Monday that she is pregnant. I guess she forgot to take her jagged little pill. <laughs> According to reports, Kim Jong-un has not been seen in public for over a month after injuring his ankles. And not, as I had hoped, because he's traveling around the world in Dennis Rodman's backpack. In other Apple news, the company has strengthened security for its iCloud storage system in response to the recent hacking of celebrity nude photos. But if you really don't want anyone to see your naked photos, you could just hide them in that free U2 album. <laughs> House is denying claims that it covered up evidence of Secret Service agents sleeping with a prostitute in 2012, which apparently was the last time the Secret Service was on top of anything. <laughs> a bakery in Texas has created a new dessert that is a pumpkin pie inside of a pumpkin spice cake that is on top of a pecan pie inside a chocolate cake and topped by an apple pie inside a cake. It's what Texans are calling diet cake. <laughs> The U.S. and China signed a historic agreement to cut greenhouse gases by the year 2030. Sooner! 
Where is scream this polar bear? <laughs> Scientists say that when people French kiss, they transfer over 80 million bacteria. This according to a recent study conducted on your mama. <laughs> according to a new study, marijuana is the safest recreational drug people can use. Huh, interesting, said a million black dudes in jail for marijuana. <laughs> according... <laughs> To a recently released report, authorities in 2009 stopped a terrorist plot to bomb Oprah Winfrey's studios, which explains why Oprah was always saying, everybody look under your seats. <laughs> Dick Cheney criticized the Senate report on CIA interrogation methods as, quote, a bunch of hooey. Cheney also complained that the report's description of torture, quote, barely got me hard. <laughs> King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia died this week at the age of 90 after he was run over by a terrible woman driver. <laughs> <laughs> the artist who painted Bill Clinton's official portrait revealed that he painted a shadow in the, in the shape of the dress to represent affairs with Monica Lewinsky. Also, it's subtle, but if you look very closely at the painting, you can see that Clinton is not wearing pants. <laughs> The artist who painted Bill Clinton's official portrait revealed that he painted a shadow in the, in the shape of the dress to represent affairs with Monica Lewinsky. Also, it's subtle, but if you look very closely at the painting, you can see that Clinton is not wearing pants. <laughs> New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez was indicted this week on federal corruption charges. It's no surprise, considering that a senator taking a bribe is the New Jersey state seal. <laughs> Apple reported earnings of over $194 billion this quarter after the company sold more than 61 million, 61 million iPhones. And not to be undone, Samsung is also a company. <laughs> The royal family announced that the name of Prince William and Kate's baby girl is Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. They chose the name Diana for William's mother, Elizabeth for his grandmother, and Charlotte for, of course, the 1992 Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> Jeb Bush was also criticized at a town hall event in Nevada when a college student said that his brother George W. Bush created ISIS. But that's really not fair, you know? It's, it's more like he co-created it. <laughs> It was reported that Jennifer Lopez is now dating Alex Rodriguez. J-Lo and A-Rod go by the cool celebrity couple name of, you guessed it, Elena Fix Lodripez. <laughs> the bomb hit ISIS-K, which is a regional division of ISIS, and coincidentally, Kellogg's least popular breakfast cereal. <laughs> A woman arrested for drunk driving in Pennsylvania falsely told police that her name was Hillary Clinton. <laughs> police knew it wasn't her, though, because Hillary Clinton would never go to Pennsylvania. Oh. 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 Aunt Jemima is recalling several breakfast food products because they might contain Listeria, who I'm guessing is Jemima's sister. <laughs> A new gym has opened in New York called Con Body, which looks like a prison and features workouts developed by former inmates. So you might want to shower at home. <laughs> Taco Bell is uh, selling a strawberry Skittles freeze made with Skittles candy. You know, Mexican food. <laughs> During the Masters tournament, golfer Tony Finau sprained his ankle while celebrating a hole-in-one. So, no, golfers are not athletes. <laughs> a new yoga class is being offered in New York in which people exercise with goats. The way it works is, it doesn't. 